Welcome to a lesson on the meaning of an equal sign. An equal sign can indicate equivalent expressions or to perform a calculation. Let's look at these two meanings. An equal sign can be used to make the statement that two expressions are equivalent. As an example, we have five plus two equals two plus five. This statement indicates the two expressions are equivalent because the expressions have the same value, but the expressions are not identical. Another example is x plus four equals seven. This indicates the expression x plus four is equivalent to seven for some value of x, which leads us to find the value of x that makes this statement true. An equal sign can also indicate a calculation. An expression with an equal sign to the left or right indicates a calculation, as we see here. We have five plus two equals blank, or blank equals five plus two. In this case, the equal sign indicates to find the sum. Let's look at some examples. State whether the equal sign represents an equivalence statement or a calculation in the stated situation. Then fill in the blank to make the statement true. First we have six plus three equals blank plus six. Notice how we have an expression on the left and an incomplete expression on the right, but because we have two expressions that equal to each other, the equal sign indicates an equivalence statement. And now we need to fill in the blank to make the two expressions equivalent. We'll notice six plus three is equal to nine, and because three plus six is also nine, we fill in the blank with three. Notice how the equal sign did not mean perform a calculation. If we added six and three to get nine and placed a nine in the blank, notice how this would not be true because six plus three does not equal nine plus six. Next we have six plus three plus five equals blank. So because we have an expression on the left, an equal sign and then a blank, this indicates to perform a calculation and therefore the equal sign represents a calculation. To fill in the blank, we find the sum, six plus three plus five is equal to 14. Notice how as soon as we write a 14 in the blank, the equal sign now indicates an equivalence statement because the sum on the left is equivalent to 14. But initially, the equal sign meant to perform a calculation. Next, we have seven plus three plus four equals seven plus blank. Here we have an expression on the left and an incomplete expression on the right, but because we have two expressions set equal to each other, the equal sign represents an equivalence statement. To fill in the blank, the seven on the left is equal to the seven on the right. On the left, we still have three plus four, which is seven, which means if we put a seven here, the two expressions are now equivalent. The expressions are different, but both are equal to 14. Next, we have blank equals eight minus three plus seven. We have an expression on the right, a blank on the left with an equal sign in the middle. The equal sign represents a calculation. To find the calculation, we determine the value of the expression on the right. Eight minus three is equal to five. Five plus seven is equal to 12. We place a 12 in the blank to make the statement true. Let's look at one more example. Here we have three x plus six equals two x plus eight. Again, because we have an expression on the left and on the right separated by an equal sign, the equal sign indicates the two expressions are equivalent, in this case, for some value of x. So the equal sign represents an equivalence statement. The next question is what comes to mind when you see this statement? Well, a lot of things may come to mind, but for me, what comes to mind is determining the value of x that makes the two expressions have the same value and therefore equivalent. So let's state this as a question. We'll say what value of x makes three x plus six and two x plus eight have the same value. Let's also see if we can find the value of x that makes the two expressions equivalent or have the same value. Let's just use trial and error. Let's try x equals one. When x is equal to one, on the left side we would have three times one plus six equals, on the right side we have two times one plus eight. Simplifying on the left, 
3 times 1 is 3, plus 6 is 9. On the right, we have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 8, which is 10. Well, 9 does not equal 10, and therefore x equals 1 does not make the two expressions equivalent or have the same value. Let's try x equals 2. If x is equal to 2 on the left, we have 3 times 2 plus 6. On the right, we have 2 times 2 plus 8. Simplifying on the left, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. On the right, we have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 8, which is also equal to 12. So now we know that when x is 2, the two expressions are equivalent or have the same value, which leads us to what's called the solution to this equation. So let's finish this by saying the value x equals 2 makes the expressions 3x plus 6 and 2x plus 8 have the same value of 12. We will talk more about equations in the next lesson. I hope you found this helpful.